Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're back in this room over here, but now that I have the Gale Boomerang, I can actually cut these lines of webbings. I don't really need to target all of them, all I really wanted was the chest. Which is what most people do when they play The Binding of Isaac, though I heard when Rebirth is coming out, that there actually is justification to go to Shoal. So I can't wait for that game to come out. Oh, just now we get the compass. Pretty late, don't you think? Well, if it isn't something useful, with that you might be able to find what you're looking for. I'll check my map later. First let me get these rupees before they disappear, that's right. Yeah, usually I do these videos like one at a time. Oh, there's a lot of chests over here, one over there. Hmm. Did I miss something there? I think I did. Well, let me check out the right side first. Good thing these monkeys are still there to help out if need be. Alright, so the Gale Boomerang also has another role when it comes to those torches. And you know how, like, you need to use your lantern to light the torches. Well, you can actually use your... Damn it. I forgot you have to kill that monster. I thought you can just like, jump over it and hope for the best. Like I was about to say, you can use your Gale Boomerang to put those torches out. Nice of the uh, enemy to just like lunge up there and grab the bomb. It's like, I didn't even throw it in there. I missed the mark. I think an easy way just to get it over there would have been just to, like, dangle on the ledge and you'll drop the bomb automatically. But it feels kind of clumsy to do so. You know, it's like, my way is any better. Alright, so, let's go back here because there actually is something we can do. Actually, we can do something about these uh, centipedes as well. Yep, with the boomerang, you can blow away all these tiles. And it uncovers their hiding spots. And let's just fire another one. Oh, I got a Z target there. That means one of the layers was nearby. And I'm not getting any from here, so let me just get a little closer. Alright, so there is a chest over there, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use the Gale Boomerang to put those torches out. I would like to like, just take care of these enemies first. Actually, do I really need to like put them all out? Not really. Hey, where are you going? You can't get away. Okay, fine, you can get away, but I'm going for what I came for. You really need just to put down enough to get to that chest. Which is another hard piece. Yeah, I think I missed one of those chests when I was in one of those rooms to save the monkeys. I'm not talking about the band either. Even though I'm pretty sure they're doing just fine. Are, are all the band members of the monkeys still alive? They, they don't use their own instruments from what I heard. But that's neither here nor there. I'm not here to bash like old bands I probably wasn't even alive to enjoy. Still, let's just continue on here and I we should go to the left side. Because there are a lot of chests that I missed. Some of them I probably could have just like found out without the use of the like, boomerang. But I know there was one I did require the boomerang. You know that ornate chest we saw behind the locked doors? Or the locked bars. And now we can do something about. Because there was some kind of pattern. Wrote like on the floor. There's a little something we need to look for. So. Still as moronic as ever. This is why we have Darwinism, people. Alright, as you can see, it kind of looks like the letter Z. Well, backwards. So what you have to do, is you have to do this 
in a specific order. Maybe I got it in reverse, I don't know. Nope, it was perfect. I think you could have done it in any order. They're not gonna be that anal about it. There, now we got the big key. Wait, there was another chest around here. Like, pretty much in this exact spot. Maybe it's not like on an upper plane? Maybe it's underwater. Nope, I think you gotta... <sighs> Camera angles. I think we gotta go a little upward. You know, you can... Uh, you can use your slingshot or your boomerang. Either or would take care of these little spiders. Is that all I need to do? Maybe we can go to a higher plane. No, we can't. So where is that other chest? Maybe it was underwater. Or maybe I just can't reach it yet. Who knows? Well, no, wait. I think I see where it is. We gotta go under here. Yeah. Now it makes sense. Let's face it, some of these chests are not blatantly obvious. So, is it really a big deal if I missed one or two and needed the compass to find them? No! And if it is a big deal, you just need to, like, grow up. It's just a video game. Let it go. Alright, so, let's just go back here. Find that chest that I missed. Maybe I did require the boomerang. Who knows? Nope, nope. You know what? I think those vines over there... No, they would not have led me to it. No, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to drop down. It would have been faster. Yeah, I should have, like, checked under the bridge. Now, would you guys have really been that anal over ten rupees? Well, maybe for the sake of just finding all the chests in a dungeon, that's kind of understandable. No, it's not if you're anal over something like that. I mean, God, it's just a game. I'm just trying to have fun. Even though I don't think I've gotten any comments about it. Man, remember, this, these videos haven't been up when I've been recording them. No, why did I press that button? Okay, I'm seeing some marks. Oh, well, more monkeys. Okay, I see what I need to do. I think I need to go over that spot. And, yeah. Let's just deal with that side first. I think I could have at least taken care of that when I was on the right side. Now we're just backtracking again. So, my apologies for, like, uh, getting a little scatterbrained. I can always go to that door on the left. Hey, it's adventure, right? So if I miss that chest on, like, the bottom side of that room, I could use the boomerang to blow the torches out. Why are there no monkeys here? Did I miss something? Now you make me... F now you're forcing me to go to the right side. Well, then... I could have had that taken care of when I took out that mid-boss. Instead of, like, going all this hackneyed way, or hackneyed way. I have no time for your crap today. Well, at least the, uh, victory plume didn't return. Alright, so, I guess now we can go this way. Thanks a lot, asswipe. It's not like I wanted to cross that anyway. So I have to use the Gale Boomerang just to, like, uh, make them spin the way I want to. Really? Just a lone bacoblin? There, I crowned ya. Okay, I'll set you free. Yeah, you 
better be appreciative. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you just save them all and see what you can get for it. Well, I suppose that's pretty much what we have to do. And that one monkey alone is not going to send me back there, so I pretty much have to go this way. Alright, so now let's just check out that room where we got the first key, but we couldn't exactly go very far. But now we should be able to. Finding two hard pieces in a dungeon, yeah, it doesn't do any damage. Finding two hard pieces in one dungeon is a pretty nice boon. That means you won't have to be going around too much in the overworld. Well, I screwed up that timing. <laughs> okay, let's try that again on this side. That's better. Now we can go through here and go north. Doing a lot of wandering around ever since I got this boomerang. At least I got the big key, which is gonna be required to get through that big door that blocks the boss. Thank you. Tell me to go this way. That seems plainly obvious. I'm coming. I'm coming. Jeez. Yep, this is why you required the boomerang. Because you wouldn't be able to blow this little panel otherwise. I should blow this a little more because I want to go to the right side. Oh, these bacobbins are mad at me, huh? Like I care. I'm just going to slash them to death anyway. Now, where are we gonna find our little monkey friend? Down there? Okay. Oh, jeez! Go down! Oh, another one of those victory plumes. Wait a minute. Let me see what I can do. What if we did this? Oh, okay, well, that kind of backfired. Because the thing exploded. Let me try to get myself in a different angle. I think this can work. Do this. Then this. No, that also did not work. I should just try to throw them myself. Maybe I wouldn't be able to get it up high enough. No, no, I could do that myself. But that is something you can do. Just use your Gale Boomerang on the bombs. And then just drag the bomb around. It may not be practical for this particular segment, but still. What? Another one of those things. Okay. The boomerang works really well against these Skulltulas. Just cause them to lose their balance. Okay, so how the hell am I gonna save you? I can't exactly climb on that stump. Wait a minute. I think I know what that bomb is for. Let me pick it up. It might have to go... here. No, don't throw it back at me! What the hell? Do I... Hmm... Hit the cage? You can't even target it. Nope, nope. There has to be another practical approach to all this. Like... Maybe I gotta, like, drop from downward. Or drop from above. Drop him downward. That doesn't work unless the gravity is reversed. 
Oh god, another one of you scum. There, I finish you! Fatality. Uh, see some webs. Aha! There was webs on top. Now it made perfect sense. I was just oversimplifying things. But that's another monkey saved. So let's try that door on the left. Should be able to get around. Now wait. Maybe that door on the left was locked. I did see a lock somewhere. Yeah, it was this door. So there's no re really no point in me trying to unlock this one. I took the Bacabla with me, did I? No! I made him fall to his death! Look at that! That was unintended, but... It works. Let me smash some pots for no reason there. Because that's what Link does. Well... The pink door is obviously the boss. So I need all these monkeys to be able to get across there. And I'm missing two. I guess in four hours... Yeah, I know. I just said that, Midna. Hmm. Okay. I guess I have to blow on this. Don't make fun. Oh, it's a blow joke. Let's make fun of the blow joke. Yeah. That's juvenile. That's something I would do. Yeah, I think that chest over there on the right, which you can see on the mini map, that might be what I need in order to get across. You know, find that other um, monkey in that locked door from earlier. I love how these little spiders, if they just fall on their backs, it kills them. Another monkey. Another spider. I almost called him a monkey. There. Did I pick up that green rupee just by using the. having the boomerang suck it up? I think so. Though, so, like, if it was only one rupee, I wouldn't have noticed it that much. Hoping this is the right way to go. It should be. I just gotta do more climbing. Is there another nope, there's not another spider. Just checking. Alright, so once I go up, we can go to that door on the right, get the chest, which should be the key, go over to the other chest, maybe find another key. More importantly, save a monkey. There. I'll be taking that. Well, at this point, I should have enough rupees just to get good stuff later on. Don't necessarily know what I'm going to get per se, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hey! Get off! Get off! There. Okay. See another one of those uh, victory plumes, so I see what I gotta do. This time I have to use the boomerang on it. I wouldn't be able to catch it otherwise. Open wide! And then die. Now that's what you call explosive diarrhea. <laughs> what the hell was that? He's like, I'm gonna roll this chest open. If that don't get your brain damaged, nothing will. Oh, oh, I see what I need to do. Alright, so let's try this. Hmm. I could face up a cobbler myself, or... Unfortunately, I can't target it. 
So, you can go in the water. I knocked him into the water. I thought plants liked water. Well, I guess there's such things as too much water. Yeah, fine. Oh, you guys are hanging around. Knock you around, like so. And I think that should do it. There's still another rock, yeah. So I need to pick this thing up from here. Will this work? That! Oh, no, no, that didn't miss. I got it from behind. You know, I could have used the uh, bomb on the Bacoblin when I was standing up here anyway. But I was worried I'd aggro it. Alright, how much money did they put in your cell? Wow, ten rubies. They're leaving behind some nice presents. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so now they're back in the main room. I assume that's where all the monkeys are gonna go. Because, well, that's where they got to. Ah, uh, too bad I couldn't just, like, head back to the main room from here. That's not gonna be a good enough leap, so... We might as well just take our time. It's tedious, but we gotta do it. I gotta pull this again. And this. Perfect. Now, let's just get back to the matter at hand. Oh my god, I have to blow this again? Don't make fun, okay? Okay, now you can make fun of that. Let's get back in the original position. These guys don't have their own boomerang, do they? Alright, now let's take care of the last monkey. He should be in here. Along the chest, of course. I'm on to your game. I can see you. There, now you're all deceased. There might be another one or two lying around. Or maybe not. Might be a chest under here. Oh! I'm on to you! Don't think you can escape that easily. It's just not gonna happen. Wait, the chest might be in here. No, this might be where the monkey is. Oh. Might want to get away from that wall. I'm causing some of my attacks to deflect against it. Alright, so how are you guys enjoying this Let's Play so far? I mean, yes, granted, we're only in the first dungeon, so it might be a bit too soon to tell. However, I really am enjoying the hell out of it. I mean, I love Zelda. That goes without saying. A lot of people like Zelda, though some people don't exactly like it. They're not exactly heretics or anything, they just have their own different tastes. And that's fine. That wasn't really much of a puzzle. But that's all the monkeys. So, should be able to head over to the boss. However, I would like to see what's beyond here. This probably leads to the chest. Nope, don't even think about it. You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna sever you. Yep, that's that Mission Impossible 2 thing I was talking about earlier. 
Like when you leap at them, they counter it. Uh, can I reach that? What if? Now what was I thinking? You can't just take the chest with you. Oh yeah, you can reach that. But it just feels like a long leap. All that for 20 rupees. My wallet's almost full. Like, my wallet only goes up to 300. Yeah, make a This as Sparta re reference if you want to. Still haven't even seen 300 Rise of the Empire. I don't know why I didn't. It's like, when I was in college, I was excited to see the original 300. And that was an awesome movie! Not gonna lie. I mean, Gerard Butler can pretty much make any role convincing. Alright, so that's all the monkeys. Perfect. And this should lead to the boss. Oh, you're just gonna be like one big vine. Okay. This actually works for me. Are you sure I should trust you guys? Hmm. So I have to time this just right, otherwise I fall into the abyss. We don't want that. Yep. I did it! Okay. Wait, let me get one of my empty bottles ready. And you're gonna find out why in a moment. I mean... I mean, let's just face it. Usually when you see, like, a boss door, you know what's gonna happen. And usually you find fairies in them. So it'll be a good idea to have at least one ready for ya. To God, you don't really take in oxygen. Alright, so, let's stop the video here. In the next episode, we unlock this door and take on the first boss. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.